So I've been thinking about this recently. I've been a little frustrated with some problems that I've had in regards to my thinking uh, and the Notion, no code, I don't know, productivity app space. Notion is a pretty cool tool. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but I, uh, I'm a Notion expert. I've been utilizing the tool for, God, uh, I'd say four years now, November of 2019, yowza. 19, 20, one, two, three, five years, whoa. I'm going on five years in my fifth year using it. That's wild. Anyways, it is a great tool. However, it is like the first productivity tool that I actually experienced. And I come into a problem with it that I think a lot of other people may in fact come into. And I wanted to point out something in this video that may be helpful for those of you in a similar position to me who don't quite have the time to technically advance in the product. So first and foremost, this is not a dig at Notion. It's what makes it great. People who have ADHD using this product product apparently helps them out a lot because it's a blank canvas and it essentially makes you build stuff. You can't just use templates only. It doesn't feel right based on how the system is made. You end up wanting to build stuff out. The amount of pages and stuff inside of here is wild, right? Like I just am I'm all over the place. I've got so many different, you know, sub pages and whatnot. So it's 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 crazy. Like this is this is kind of what we're going with. We have a bunch of different pages. I can go through and you'll see how many things I've built, how many filters I've set up, right? It's it's a great system for me. But 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is not how everybody needs to work. Building your own creative system doesn't need to be in a canvas format where literally you have to set up the pixel structure and like, oh, is this gonna be uh, split in half? Like, what are we gonna do? That's not how everyone needs to work. It kind of ruined productivity apps for me in a lot of ways. And what I mean by this is my experience is through the lens of you can build your own thing. So when people don't allow you to build your own thing, whether it be from a setup perspective or a, even a field perspective, I get irritated. And that's why I kind of stray away from some apps. You know, Todoist is something that I use for my daily recurring tasks regarding like house stuff. Like I can check these off because I did in fact, you know, run the dishwasher, do that kind of stuff. However, the fact that I can't really customize extra fields here and it's like a preset sort of thing where, you know, I say, oh, take the trash out tomorrow and I have to put P1 and I have to put well, for priority one and I have to use a hashtag for projects and only pick a certain number of projects and the layouts don't have column capabilities, you know? It's like, I go put this in uh, my habits here and can I have a million different views here? No. Is it kind of limited? Yeah. Can I drag this to go somewhere else? Sure. But can I drag it and make it have multiple columns? Like, it? no, it's pretty limited. And for me, I have a hard time with these systems. I get like really, I get really ugh, in my head about it and get uncomfortable that I can't edit a lot of it. And some people might think that that's wild. Others might think that's how my brain's built. And even more others would think that they're in the same position, so they also get frustrated with these kinds of apps. But then there's another subset of people, people who think it needs the customization always. I'm here to tell you something that's wild. Some things are meant to be pre-done in a fashion that aligns with a large group of people that probably include you. That's right. I know people who are trying to over-engineer their Notion workspace that just should use Todoist and Google Calendar. These people are wild. They be time blocking in Notion, task managing in Notion, praying to God in Notion with, I don't, I don't know what that joke was, I'm, I love Jesus. But anyways, this is a amazing product. It's limited. Google Calendar, great product, but limited. OneNote, honestly, great product, but limited. Apple Notes, honestly, great product, but limited. We don't need all the plugins in the world. We don't need all the embeds in the world. This whole all-in-one workspace idea is and has always been a farce. I have a personal theory that I have uh, a hard time focusing for certain reasons I won't get into. And uh, Notion does help me focus and hone in on some things because I'm able to really let my thoughts flow out and I'm able to create a custom system like this one you see here with a myriad of automations and API connections and more layouts than I care to remember that I built that I haven't used in a while. But for a lot of people, spending the time building this stuff is just gonna make them angry. It's okay, completely okay to just use a note-taking tool, task management tool. If a couple of them can be combined together, coolio. But if it requires a lot of building and you're finding yourself frustrated, it's okay to just utilize these pre-built things, you know? Just go in here, use this, use something like ClickUp. That's a great one. It's got a lot of pre-built setup in there. It's got the ability to build some things, but it's a static layout. You're not really able to break the bank on what you're able to adjust here outside of fields and where spaces are and maybe what's pinned or not on the side here. But a lot of this is pretty limited, you know? 
It's limited to a set number of variables that is much smaller than Notion. And I'm here for it, you know? Not everyone needs a million different ways to set up their system. Some people just need a system that gets them to inbox zero, check it out, and to check off tasks and write down notes. And if it's interconnected, like with ClickUp or something, that's cool. And I need all the building, the setup, it's just not needed for everybody. And I think the, the community has kind of gone away from acknowledging that fact. It's more so, where's the all-in-one app? Maybe if you're a brain, you don't need one. Crazy thought. And it's also a crazy thought that you haven't checked out this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.